I love you. This is the quality time he's been missing. Yeah, we're here, Gary. I've been here for you the whole time. Ah! Gosh. <laughs> Did you see that? Yes. <laughs> He was he was setting me down. He lulled me. He lulled yes. me. He lulled me in, and then he tried to jump and kill me. Celsius falls after Celsius Network and its former CEO found guilty. <laughs> after investigations, the CFTC has concluded that uh, Celsius Network and Alex Wyshynski broke U.S. laws before it collapsed. Letitia James, the Attorney General of uh, New York, has already filed a lawsuit following the demise of Celsius Network. James alleged that Mashinsky misrepresented the company's financial situation and made false claims about the platform security. Now, I, look, you you cannot. Hmm. I do not want to defend Alex Mashinsky right here. He's not someone we should really be defending. However, however, we do know all this started from Sam. I mean, technically, this all started when Alex started moving their tether off of FTX, but that's a long story. The fact is, is that, oh, they said Allison's a real person in the chat. It's yeah, some true. people don't believe it. Some people believe that Allison and I are the same person. That's why I said a picture of the two of us <laughs> together would break the internet. Is TJ still part of the show? Not for right now. He'll be fine. He'll come back. Yeah. It, they literally had a baby, what, yesterday? Two days ago. The 4th of July. Two days ago, yeah. It was, did we make it official? It was 12, 17 a.m. Mm. So that means. One of the first babies of the, the new. 17 minutes into year. the day. That starts on July 4th. Oh, amazing. Um, but yeah, they just had a baby, so it's what it is. Look, Alex Mashinsky, I received a document uh, last week. I'll say this. I received a document last week. The people I've really been talking about that was submitted as part of one of these cases that pretty much proves the FTX was shorting sell token fraudulently. The FTX, just like I told you guys happened, I told you this happened in November or maybe December at the, at the latest. I told you guys FTX had been counterfeiting sell token and we could not get the smoking gun on it. Well, this seems to have the smoking gun that it still doesn't show that, that they were there, but it shows that 20% more sell token than FTX owned was being shorted on FTX. So pretty much that is a smoking gun that it was happening, okay? So I get this document last week. Like five days later, CFTC finds Alex Mashinsky guilty. Wow. A little, little strange, isn't it? Yeah. A little strange. Just saying. Once again, don't want to defend Alex Mashinsky. That's not the point. The point is, is we continue to find out that this FTX corruption was bigger and more widespread than we even thought. Who's to say CFTC is not touched by that? No, Dan Bergovitz that worked for the CFTC and was promised a job at the SEC was bribed by Sam Bankman fried We know we know Mark Wetjen that worked at the CFTC was SBF's head of policy that stole and tried to sabotage our bill. Huh. Interesting, isn't it? Well, you know what? Let me say this one thing. Grant Gustav is in here with a great, a great question here. He says, I'm having a hard time staying motivated. I keep watching the show, but I don't have the ability to invest in this bear market to make life-changing money next bull market. Uh, and then he put a little emoji of me and him holding hands. <laughs> I want to address the emoji first. 
I like it, Grant. I will hold hands with you for the right amount of money. 20 bucks is 20 bucks, what they say. Number two, what Grant is feeling right now is what a lot of people are feeling right now. And I just want to go back to a story I've told on the show before. 2019, 2020. December 2019, which is actually kind of almost where we're at in the market. Really, probably we're about in July of that month to where we're at now, or that year. Guys, I was demotivated. I almost quit this channel in December of 2019. I was that close. If I thought for sure this other job was going to make the money I thought it was going to make, which it would have, by the way, my friend took it. It did. I make way better money. He makes really good money. If I thought that was a for sure thing, I would have quit this channel. I had videos that had hundreds of views on them. Hundreds in 2019, December. I thought if I just pushed a little bit further, just a little bit further, I knew I had it. I had a really hard time that year. Very hard. The people say the bear market is the worst when the prices are dropping. It's not true at all. It's the stealing of the hope of a bull market that you start experiencing when you get towards the end of a bear market, that's what really starts to kill people. You look at 2020 and January, prices start going up. We have the pandemic crash, of course. But December of 2019, we didn't have a pump. There was no attention. It was just misery. People weren't making money. But you know what I did? I stuck through it anyways. Probably because I'm too stubborn and hard-headed. And I got paid off. And what I'm telling you guys is this, is it doesn't feel great watching the channel right now. It doesn't feel great being in crypto right now. The excitement has gone one way or the other. Both extremes. It's gone right now. This is when you have to push through. This is how you get from where you're at, where I was at, to where people like me are today. So God be blessed. The boy out.